My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. Hello again, party people, and welcome back to my worldwide award-winning channel. Ten shots were allegedly fired. So which one of those shots hit Corey? This eyewitness is a doctor, and he said the shot that hit Corey sounded like it came from behind the grandstand. Uh, it was rather chaotic at that point because everyone, half the people were looking because they thought it was fireworks. I knew it was gunshots right away. My friend, you know, he, he hit the deck. I was kind of looking around just trying to see where the shots were coming from. It seemed to me like the shots were coming from behind the bleachers. It seemed to me the man got hit in the head from behind. Um, he was killed instantly as far as I could tell. And at that point, a state police and a SWAT team, you know, showed, started evacuating the bleachers, and then I helped carry the man out of the bleachers to a tent that was behind um, the bleachers. You helped carry the man yourself. What was his condition when you were carrying him? He's deceased. I have to stop right here. This man claims he is a doctor. He's lying when he said he helped carry Corey from the grandstand to the tent. Why do people lie? That guy in the red shirt never carried Corey, or even touched his body at all. So since he lied, is he even a doctor? How close were you to him? Uh, a couple yards. I mean, it wasn't very far. Did you know the man? No, it's a police stranger. They put a towel over his head and then carried him off. And you said there was another woman nearby who was also injured. Where was she in relation to him? I believe she was in the bleachers, like either behind, above me, or just to the side of him. But it seemed like she was kind of up my flank, and then she flinched, and it looked like she had taken a gunshot wound to the forearm and hand. Joseph, from where I was uh, standing, we heard multiple gunshots, uh, 8 to 11 shots. We've been hearing it replayed on the video here. Do you remember, can you tell, I know it was a chaotic scene, but at what, at what point, was it immediately when you heard the gunshots that he was, he was shot, or was it later on into the firing? The first seven, he was hit with... He was hit and she was hit within the first seven shots. I counted seven shots. What was going through your mind? You were right there. I know it happened so quickly, but what, what can you tell us about those moments? Uh, yeah. First, I was in shock because I, I know what gunshots sound like, so I knew they were gunshots. I just I couldn't tell from where they were coming from. And when I noticed someone got hit, then I noticed, well, it seemed like they were coming from behind me. And it just was pandemonium. And then I heard some more shots. And I couldn't I couldn't quite tell where they were coming from. But I counted the first seven. They were very loud and very close. Um, and it killed one man and wounded another woman. And Joseph, you told me that you're a doctor. You're an OBGYN. Uh, how did that background play into how quickly you were sort of able to assess the situation and know what happened to these individuals and, and know what was going on? Well, I, I told the police. I mean, I tried to render assistance. I told the police. I could render assistance. They had another physician on the EMT team, so they kind of took over. So they didn't really need me, so I kind of helped carry him down initially out of the bleachers. He's totally lying to her. Um, yeah, I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't, the man that got hit, there was no assistance that needed to be given. And unfortunately, his family witnessed the whole thing. They, it seemed like he had several family members in the bleacher with him. And they were quite upset. They didn't know, they were in shock. They didn't know, quite know what was going on, but... The man was definitely killed instantaneously. Could you tell us sort of how many family members or people who knew him were, were with him, and, and what, what what was their reaction? I thought there was five people. They were two of them are relatively hysterical. So, but they were, you know, when we took the man out of the bleachers, he went to the tent. There was an aid tent or some type of tent behind the bleachers where they took the body, and they immediately evacuated the family with them. And the two out of the five, it seemed, like, you know, in shock, hysterical. Like they were still trying to process what was going on. Joseph, from, from where I was standing, we, we heard the shots. Uh, we saw the president go down. Yeah, I saw President Trump get hit. You, yeah. what, what, can you tell us what, what details like you remember? Got, it seemed like his head was off to the side, and it seemed like he got nicked in the ear. Was that before the Secret Service took him down to the ground, yeah, covered him? Right before the Secret Service. I mean, it was maybe, again, it's hard to tell, like, you know, time dilates when, like, it seemed like it was a second or two. Like, that first seven shots that went off, the man got hit, he was killed almost instantly. The woman in the bleachers, she got injured, like she got hit in the forearm in the hand. And then in those rounds that were fired, again, I was videoing the event, so that's when I saw Trump get hit. 
and it seemed to me like looking at he was looking to the side and the round grazed his ear. So, could you tell the the gentleman that that was hit in the head what what uh, angle he was in relation to the former president? Like which direction the bullets were were coming from and to? So it looked like he was facing the president at the very far left portion of the of the bleachers. So he's directly facing it. Again, it seemed to me like the shots were coming from the rear, like behind us. And for me, it seemed like the man was in the way. Like, uh, you know, I, I guess... In the way of the former president? No, it seemed like the man was in the way of the shots between whoever was shooting, shooting the gun and the president. Um, the man was hit. It seemed like he was in the crossfire. Um, I was commenting to my friend and went with the to the event with me. I was like, you know, you know, the back behind the bleachers, it's really open. It seems like a really open venue. And it's just, you know, I, I got this sense that, you know, Someone really wanted to do something. And again, I, I was openly talking to her. I was like, you know, if something was bad was going to be happening, this is the perfect venue to have. I just said this like an hour before it happened. I was like, this would be the perfect place to do it. And when the gunshots went off, I think they were, again, my sense was they were being shot from behind, so they sounded a bit muffled. So it sounded more like a firecracker going off. So I think the initial reaction from the people around me were like, okay, well, someone brought fireworks. I just knew better. I know what gunshots sound like. And, you know, when I, when I saw the guy got, took a gunshot wound to the head and I saw the woman who got hit in the forearm in the hand, I just knew that it wasn't fireworks. I mean, it wasn't fireworks initially, but uh, I don't think, I think the majority of the crowd didn't understand that it was, fire, it was gunfire. And um, This guy didn't help Corey at all, but the video proves he was there. He said the shot that hit Corey came from behind and Corey was caught in crossfire. This means the shot came from the right to left. That's what I've been saying all along, but am I wrong? Yes. I think I might be wrong after all. And here's why. Corey was standing with his back against the railing. Given the angle of the building, an angle of the grandstand, the left side of Corey's head was almost already facing the building. Corey looked up at the big screen above the grandstand a few times, and when he does this, the left side of his head faces the building even more. Corey was filming Trump on his phone. Corey's wife has the video that Corey filmed, and I hope she releases the video one day. It will show us when Corey was hit, and when he fell. Corey was likely hit by the fourth shot that was fired, because the video shows Corey still standing and filming after the third shot was fired. What is odd, is that on the second shot, someone falls into someone else who is wearing a white shirt. And this person in the white shirt falls backwards down two rows in the grandstand. I think Corey falls into the person in the white shirt after Corey was shot. But how could Corey fall into the guy in the white shirt on the second shot when the other video shows Corey still standing after the third shot is fired? I'm not sure, but you can also see Corey is standing beside a woman with a pink baseball cap on. That is the girlfriend or wife of the guy in the white shirt who is standing in front of Corey. Here is the guy in the white shirt and the girl in the pink hat after Corey is shot. Now, I know exactly what most of you are saying right now. Show us the fucking video already. Okay. I will. Here it is. My guys, take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow on the bottom. See the big red, red arrow, right? So that's wow. what I left off as. That was the lowest point, and that comes right from the wow. government services. It comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country and then and then the worst president in the history of our country took over and look what happened to our country it's at an all probably 20 million people horrible and you know that's a little bit old that chart that chart's a couple of months old and if you uh, want to really see something that said take a look at what happened to Wall. Here it is again. Take a look what happened. Now this shows the white shirt guy fall backwards down a few rows after the second shot is fired. 
Take a look at what happened. Take a look at what happened. When the person in the white shirt is falling backwards, they grab someone to their right who is wearing a hat and pull them down too. Here you see them reach out with their left arm and pull the other person down with them. Take a look at what happened. Take a look at what happened. Now, here you see Corey's wife appear and bend over and try and help Corey. Now you see Corey's wife turn her head to her left. Here is Corey's daughter in the white baseball cap. Here is the daughter's boyfriend pointing to his head while trying to get help for Corey. Here is the daughter's boyfriend pointing to his head filmed from a different person and from a different angle. Now, as mentioned party people, Corey was standing with his back against the grandstand railing. As I've shown, a person in a white shirt fell backwards down two rows and grabbed someone as they fell, and this person fell too. But now watch this person standing against the railing like Corey was. I think this might actually be Corey dropping straight down when he was hit by the bullet. It's so hard to tell party people that you have to decide for yourself. So is this Corey? Or did Corey fall on the guy in the white shirt higher up? Here we see Corey's baseball hat flying down after he was hit. Finally, as you can see Corey was wearing sunglasses before he was shot. And here they are. They were left behind on the grandstand bench, then someone took them, because they are no longer on the grandstand, after all the people leave. So to the person who took Corey's sunglasses, shame on you, but just know that this woman prayed for you. Watch out. Please hit the like button party people, and I'll see you in my next Worldwide Award winning video.